guys, what's going on? My name is Tom or Gummy, and today we are doing another statue tutorial in continuation of the Five Nights at Freddy's build. So we are doing Phantom Freddy today, the first in the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's collection. In fact, I've done Spring Traps, that's a lie, um, but the second one in the collection and the first one in the Phantom collection. So yeah, um, a lot of you guys have been requesting the Phantom characters as well as the Shadow ones. I've said before, I'm probably not going to do the Shadow ones purely because they're like plain black. And that'll be a really boring um, statue. But yeah, if you guys want it, I will be continuing the Phantom ones potentially and finishing up the collection hopefully very soon. If you have any other suggestions for other series such as maybe Marvel characters or something like that, then definitely leave them down below in the comments because I definitely want some ideas to fall back on when I'm finished with the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, statues. And anyways, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already for more statue tutorials. Until then, I've been Tom, and I will see you in the tutorial. Okay guys, so let's get straight on into building this statue. First of all, I'll list out the blocks that you'll uh, need to build it. So you'll need lime stained clay, green stained clay, black wool, cyan stained clay, white wool, and also light blue stained clay. Also a map if you want to make your life a uh, tad easier. So anyways, what we're going to start off by doing is placing one green, one lime, green, two lime, green, lime, green. And once you've done that, you'll have an eight long line like this, and that is the uh, start of the statue, or the start of the leg, should I say. The next row goes green stained clay, black wool, green stained clay, black wool, lime stained clay, green stained clay, lime, and then green. Just presume when I say green and uh, lime in this that it's the stained clay, same with cyan and also the light blue, and then the black and white are wool, just to uh, make that clear. Okay, next row is lime, black, lime, whoops, lime, 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 so four lime, sorry, that probably would have been easier if I just said four lime, one black, and then one lime. Next row is one lime one black, two lime, one black, one lime, one black, and one lime. So currently, it should be looking like this. It should be four blocks tall, eight blocks wide. Feel free to pause whenever you want to. The next row is eight black, like so. Next row, four lime, one black, two lime, one black. It's currently six tall. 8 wide. Next row, 1 lime, 1 black, 2 lime, 1 black, 3 lime. Next row, 1 lime, 1 black, 2 lime, 1 black, 1 lime, 1 black, 1 lime. Should be looking like this. As I said, feel free to pause whenever you need to do so. At this point, it should be eight blocks tall. So we're two thirds of the way on the legs. Next row is three lime, two black, one lime, one black, one lime. Next row, one black, one lime, black, two lime, black, two lime. Next row, three black, one lime, one black, one lime, two black. And then for the final row of the legs, so the 12th block, we do one black, one lime, black, four lime, and one black. So once you've done that, you'll have a 12 tall by eight wide rectangle and of course you can pause right here if you want to do so you should be able to figure it out purely just by looking at it but um, it's mainly if you missed a point or uh, think you messed up a tiny bit feel free take your time this is a pretty difficult statue to do so I appreciate that you guys will need as much time as possible which is why I'm trying to go as slow as I can um, but still keep the tutorial reasonable length but yeah so what we're going to do now is the body then we'll move on to each arm so for the body, what we're going to do is we're starting on the left, we're going to place two lime, three green, one black, and then two lime. And to the left of this, we're going to go one lime, one green, two lime, and to the right, 
we are going to go one lime, one green, one black, one lime. And that's just to mark out where the hands start basically so we can come back and build them at a later point. Um, it just makes life a bit easier in the later parts of the video. We don't have to worry about figuring out where it goes and it's a nice little uh, pointer. Okay, so anyways back to the body which is this part here to this part here. So what we're going to do is start on the left and we're going to build up two using limestone clay, one black. And we're going to go up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 using the lime stain clay. And if I'm correct, sorry, I forgot to uh, show you what this should look like. So we're on Xbox One, so Y is 5. If I've done this correct, this should be Y is 17. There you go. Perfect. Let me just place that black. Uh, place that back, should I say. And this one up here should be Y29. There we go. So the top of the uh, body should be Y29, just as a pointer, that should make your life a lot easier. So if that's like that, it's correct. If not, go back, see where you've gone wrong, and make slight adjustments. So the legs should be 12 by 8 and the body should also be 12 by 8 Anyways, now what we're going to do on the right side is build up 3. So build up 2 on top of the uh, one we've already built. Place one black wall, and then build up 8 using the lime wall. Oh, the uh, lime stain clay, sorry. Then what we're going to do is link it together. And that's basically the uh, wire frame for our body. And now what we're going to do is just add all the detail in the middle. So, starting at the bottom again, we do one green, one black, two green, one black, one green. Next row, we do one green, one black, two green, oh sorry, four green, my mistake, like so. Next row is one green, one black, and then four green. Next row, two green, then this part you won't see, but we'll just put two green there for now. One black and one green. Next row, one green, one black, two green, one black, one green. Next row is just all green and same with the next row apart from the final one. So it's all green and then the final one is black. Next row is one black, two green, one black, green, black. Next row is four green, sorry three green, one black and then two green and then the rest is just lime okay so once you've done that that is what it should be looking like so far it looks really weird and it will do until we add the uh, bow tie and the buttons so for the first button what we do is we come to a section here where there's three long black and next to it we place a two by two like so so essentially it's three blocks up from the start of the screen and then we place a two by two we leave a one block gap and then place another two by two and that's the second button as you can see. Next what we're going to do is make the bow tie. So we come to this black here and we place three black, uh, two black sorry. Go up diagonal to side, down diagonal to side and then on either one we go up two to side one, up two to side one, link back together and that's what the bow tie should look like. In the center of the bow tie there's two dots here. We're going to place one cyan stained clay in either one. And once you've done that, that is pretty much what it should look like. Minor a uh, mistake I just realized there, this block here should be lime stained clay rather than green. But apart from that, that is the body complete and it should be looking like this. Okay, so moving on, of course feel free to pause. Uh, moving on, what we're going to do is the left arm then the right arm. So for the left arm we place one lime stained clay, second lime stained clay, one green and then one black. Next row is one black two lime, one black. Next row is just four black and it connects up with that one there. That's how you know you've done it right. Next row is one lime, one black and two lime. Next row, two black and then um, one lime, one black. Next row is one lime, one black, one lime, one black. Next row, is 
four black. Next row, one black, three lime. Next row, three lime, one black. Next row, one lime, one black, lime, black. And then the final row is lime, black, lime, black. So as you can see, it's kind of like a, a little pattern there, and it looks pretty cool. That's, of course, the left arm, and it should measure 12 tall by 4 wide. So from this block here, all the way up to this one here. And of course, as always, feel free to pause right here if you need to do so, if that makes your life any easier. Alternatively, you can pause there, and that shows you what it should look like with the body as well, if you want to build it all in one. Now all we're going to do is build the right arm. Okay. So for the right arm, what we're going to start off by doing is placing one black, one green, one black, whoops that's not black, that's black, and then one lime. Next row is again one black, one lime, one black, one lime, should be looking like this so far. Next row is four black, and again you'll know you've done it right if it connects up with that one there. Should make a uh, line of five, same with that side. Next row is two lime, one black, one lime. Next row is the exact same. So two rows of two lime, one black, one lime. Next row, one lime, one black. Oh, sorry, one black, one lime. My apologies. Um, so black, lime, black, lime. That's awfully confusing saying that. Next row is four black next row one black three lime next row two lime one black one lime next row one lime oh sorry one black one lime one black one lime and then the final row is one lime one black one black black lime black lime my apologies that is really confusing me um, with the uh, pattern there but yeah that's what it should look like again my mistake for uh, the little mess up in words there but yeah that's what it should look like feel free to pause and hopefully you got it anyways it shouldn't have really thrown you off that much it's just making myself look a bit stupid um, but yeah that is the whole body complete or the front of the statue complete and that's what it should look like currently it's 2d minus the buttons and the bow tie of course um, one thing to point out, a lot of people have pointed out that he only has one leg just to uh, make it look a bit nicer and a lot more skin-like um, because the skins have set dimensions we're going to use two legs um, and if you want to just get rid of half of it so one leg would be four wide so on the fifth block to eighth block you can just chop it off but I think it looks a bit better with two legs I mean sometimes you have to compromise a bit on what looks nice to uh, Real, uh, realisticness I guess is a word maybe um, so yeah feel free to do what you want to do in this tutorial I'm going to show you with two legs but of course you can just chop one off okay so coming around to the right side what we're going to do is make this 3D so we're going to start by placing one black and then two lime next row is one black one lime one black next row three lime Next row, one lime, one black, one lime. Next row, three black. Next row, two lime, one black. Next row, three lime. Next row, one black, one lime, one black. Same with the next row is black, lime, black. Next row is black, lime, lime. Next row is three black. And then the final row is two lime, one black. So once you've done that, that is of course the right side of the leg and it should measure 12 by 4 much like the arms and it should look like this. Of course if you want to pause feel free to do so. That section there is 4, that section there is 5 and that section is 4. Um, just to point out some basic measurements of this area. Moving around what we're going to do now is the left side of the leg. So we come around, we place one lime, one black one lime so it is different to the other side so I definitely uh, pay attention next one is one lime one black whoops and one lime 
Next one is three lime. Next row, we do one black, two lime. Next row, three black. Next row, one lime, one black, one lime. One lime, one black, one lime again. So the exact same twice. Next one is one black, two lime, exact same again. So two rows of that. Next one is one black, two lime again. Next row is three black, and then the final row is two lime, and then one black. So that's what that side should look like. Again, 12 by 4. If you want to, feel free to pause. Um, now what we're going to do is move on to the side of the arms. So what we're going to do is come around to the back here, and at the bottom of the hand, so these parts here, what we're going to do is extend it backwards three, all the way across, like so, until you have a 4x4 four four from below. And we do the exact same on this side as well. Okay, as you can see, 4x4. Four four. Then what we're going to do is we'll start on the uh, right side first again. So we come to here, and we are going to place two lime, one black. So this is the second row, just to make it clear. First row is just plain lime. Second row, three lime, one black. Same for the next row, three lime, one black. Next row, three black. Next row, three lime. Next row, two lime, one black. Three lime. Then we got three black. Two lime, one black. Same with the next row. Then next row is three lime. And then the final row is one lime, one black, one lime. So as you can see, that is pretty simple and easy to do. That's 12 by 4 again. We got three rows of lime, three rows of lime, and then three rows of, of sorry, four rows of lime with uh, small little bits of black in with two rows of black and then small dots, as you can see. Other side is a bit more complicated, so let's go on around to the uh, left side. This is a tad more complicated. Starting from left to right, we're going to do one lime one black, one lime. What we're actually going to do that I forgot is on the first line punch that out and replace it with black. Next row is three lime. Next row is three black. Then we've got one lime, one black, one lime. Next row is the exact same. Next row again the exact same. So we've got three rows of lime, black, lime, and then the fourth block, which we've already built, is slightly different. Next row is three black. Next row being one black, two lime. Next row, one black, two lime. Next row, two lime, one black, two lime, one black. So that's what the uh, left side of the arm should look like. I'm going to pause this video right here because I cannot deal with rain and it is really annoying. And as far as I'm aware, there's not any way to uh, turn it off. So I'll pause this video right here. Of course, feel free as well to pause because you can catch up. But I will see you in a second when it's hopefully a bit less rainy. Okay, so as you can see, the rain has passed and uh, we're back and ready to build. So let's go straight around to the back of the uh, statue. As you can see, we've finished the sides and the front. All we need to do now is the back of the statue and then the head. So let's get straight on into it. So what we're going to start off by doing is placing one, two, three, four, five lime, one black wool. Next row is just solid lime. And then the end one is black wool, so very similar to... Uh, the first row, so that's five lime, one black. Next row is two lime, one black, three lime. Next row is one black, one lime, one black, and then three lime. Next row is just solid black, like so. Next row, two lime, one black, one lime, one black, one lime. Whoops, that's not lime. That is. Next row, two lime, one black, three lime. 
Next row. One. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five lime. One black. Next row. Two lime. Two black. One lime. That is definitely not lime. One black. I'm really off of my uh, blocks today. In case you couldn't tell. <laughs> one lime. One black. Two lime. One black. One lime. Next row. One black. Two lime. One black. One lime. One black. And then the final row for now is three lime. One black. And then two lime. So that's what it should look like. Of course, it should be 12 tall and 8 wide. Again, feel free to pause if you need to do so. Now all we're going to do is move on to the back of the body. And this is uh, pretty simple as well. So what we're going to do is in fact fill it in and then punch the details out. So what we do is just build up to the top. Which should be Y29 if you're on console or Y28 if you're on PC. Mobile devices, I'm not 100% sure. But essentially all you want to do is build a 12 by 8 rectangle of uh, lime stained clay and we're going to punch some details out and um, I think that will be easier than doing it layer for layer in fact it will be easier than doing it layer by layer okay so as you can see it should come in line with this and what you can go ahead and do is join them up like so so what we have here is a plain canvas and we can start adding stuff onto it so we're going to start off from left um, bottom left and we're going to work our way up so what we do is we start off with this little right angle shape and we punch this one out and go up two and we replace it with black wall. What we're then going to do is leave a one block gap, go to the right and punch out two like so. Next what we're going to do is go three times to the uh, right and then up one, punch that out, replace. Leave one block gap, go up two, punch them out. So uh, leave it's one block gap then two uh, punched out, one block gap, and then three punched out. Whoops. So, hopefully, it should be looking like this so far. Next, what we're going to do is go to this gap here, leave one block, punch that, 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 so three blocks. Again, I'm going to keep on zooming out so you can see what it should be looking like at every stage. We're going to leave a one block gap and punch this one out, leave one block and then punch these two out. Whoops. Next, what we're going to do is go to that one black block there, go to the left one, so leave a block, go to the left one, punch that one out, go up one. Then we're going to go down two to the side, punch that, punch that. Alternatively, you could just leave a two block gap between that. And once you've done that, I believe that is all the detail you need to add. Um, in fact, one last block we need to do. So we go up to this very top left corner and we punch it out and place one black wall. Once you've done that, that is all the detail you need to add, and we can work on the arms. Of course, feel free to pause, as always, and catch up. That's a 11 block gap there. That's a 2 block gap. Uh, let's see. And that is a 4 block gap. Just to uh, name a few, if any of you got confused at all. So we're going to start on the right arm. This is the back of the right arm. So we're going to punch the third block out and replace it with black wall and go up one. Then what we're going to do is surround it by lime next row is free lime and then the row after is also free uh, black I was about to say free lime free black next row is one lime one black one lime next row one lime black lime next row lime black lime next row just black next row two lime one black next row Three lime. Next row, one lime, one black, one lime. Next row, one lime, one black, one lime. So once you've done that, it should look like this, as you can see. And um, you can feel free to pause whenever, as always. I, I think I've said that a lot um, this video, but yeah, some people still don't do it. So just want to make it very clear. It's a lot easier for you guys if you actually pause it rather than trying to keep up with me in real time. But anyways, little rant over, left arm, so we punch this bottom left block out and we place a black wall and we go up one, place two lime next to it, and we're going to go from uh, left to right, 
So we place one lime, one black, one lime. Next row, three black. Next row, two lime, one black. Next row, one black, one lime, one black. Next row, one black, one lime, another lime. Next row, three black. Next row, three lime. One black, two lime. Whoops, three lime. And then final row, one lime, one black, one lime. So once you've done that, that's what it should look like. That is the body complete. In fact, all we need to add now is the shoulders. So tiny little details for shoulders will come to the uh, front because it makes life easier. We place one black block there. This is the left side. And we're going to go diagonal like so. And then fill the rest in with lime stain clay. For the other shoulder, what we're going to do is place it there. The two black blocks there. And place the rest with lime stain clay. So once you've done that, that is the body complete. I'll go around it one last time before we move on to the head. So this is the front of the legs, 12 by 8. The front of the body, 12 by 8 with the 3D bow tie and 3D buttons. Each arm being 12 by 4. The side of the leg being 12 by 4. The side of the arm being also 12 by 4. Same applies for the left side, same dimensions, just different um, colours. And then for the back, it's the exact same dimensions as the front. Again, just different colouring. Okay, so moving on, what we're going to do now is the head. So we're going to go to the left side, count four to the right, and on the fifth one, which will be this one, we're going to place a lime stain clay and bring it two forwards. On the right side, we do the exact same. We go four to the left on the fifth one, which will be this one. You'll be able to tell because it's the one that's more or less solid lime. Uh, we're going to place a lime block and bring it two forwards. And we're going to connect them. There should be a six block gap. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Double it up like so. And that gives us a two overhang. What we're then going to do is build it five backwards until it overhangs the back two as well. And we will link them together as well. And once you've done that, that gives you an eight by eight square. And also the base for the head. So the base template, should I say, because the head is eight by eight by eight. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add this little 3D part because uh, his mouth is actually 3D. If you've seen all the other 3D tutorials, this is very similar. So we leave a one block gap. This is at the front, by the way, just for reference. Two lime, one black, two lime, one black. And then there'll be a one block gap on the end. So essentially, it should overhang the front three, the back two. Um, on the front, there should be two blocks missing, like so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, of course, at the front of the face, we're going to build that and work around to the sides. So starting from left to right, we're going to place one white there, one white there. Go in one and place a black. Come back to normal point and place two white. Go in one, place a black, one white, and go in one and place the final white. So, of course, it should be looking like this. Hopefully, you guys got that. So on the second overhang, or the second row, we've got white space black space space black space white and on the third one we've got white space white white space white i probably just confuse you a bit more by saying it like that but that's essentially what it is so i just thought i'd point it out on the third row what we're going to do is place six green stained clay and then on the second row we're going to place two two black and then two green once you've done that that is essentially all um the over the uh, what you call it, the 3D part is so we don't need to worry about that anymore so on the left side we're going to build up two using black wool and on the right side we're going to build up two using lime uh, clay like so so right now it should be four tall and eight wide with this little 3D part next on the left side we're going to build up two using lime and on the right side we're going to build up two using black on top of this we're going to place three black wool two lime and then two black one lime and that's basically just outlining guys so what we do in this part here is we just place a two by two of lime stain clay and as you can see we've got perfect little holes for the uh, eyes what we do in this part here is we place two green stain clay either side on the bottoms like so and then for the final row of the head 
we do one black, three lime, one black, three lime. All that leaves us with now is to do the eyes. So what we do is we come around the back because we have to indent it a bit. Um, and it's a bit of a pain to indent if you don't come around the back. So like that. And what we do on the two top blocks of each one, we place black wool. And then on the left side, we place one black, one white. And on the right side, we place one white, one black. As you can see, they're like indented into the head. What we're then going to do is get our green stained clay. And on the left eye, we place one there, which covers up that black. We then place one there. And then we go down diagonal to the left and place one there. That's what it should look like once you've done that. And that is the front of the face complete, or the front of the head, should I say, complete. What we're then going to do, once you've built that, of course, feel free to pause is move on to the left side of their head so this side and we're going to start working on that so as you can see we've got the first row done so on the sides it's 8 by 8 we've got the first row done so 7 rows left second row is just we're going to build up 7 using lime stained clay next row we're going to build up 4 because we've already got one so it's 5 in total 3, 4 then we're going to place 2 black and then 1 lime Next row, we're going to place one, two, three, black wool. Then we're going to go up four using limestone clay. Next row, we're going to go up six using the uh, limestone clay, seven including this bottom one. And then on the top one, we're going to place one black. Next row, we're going to build up three, one, two, three, place black, one, two, three. Next row, we're going to build up one on top of this original one place one black and then build up to the top and then the final row which get build up seven once you've done that that is the side of the left or the left side of the head complete again feel free to pause whenever you want to do so and we are going to move on to the right side of the head there is one minor detail we're going to add at the end but i will get to that in due course okay so now we're on the right side what we're going to do is build up seven on the second row using lime stain clay the third row, we go up one, then we're going to place two black, then we're going to go up four. Next row, we just go up seven. Next row, we go up four, so one, two, three, four, one black, one, and then one black. Next row, we build up one, two, three, then we go up five using the, uh, oh, sorry, my mistake, four using the uh, lime stain clay. Next row, we're going to go up six. And then the top block is one black. And then for the final row, what we're going to do is place one black, two lime, two black, and then two lime. So once you've done that, that gives you another 8x8, eight eight, which is the second, um, I guess, side. Third, if you're including the front. What we're going to do now is add the little bit of wire that comes out of the head. So on this top corner here, we're going to leave two block out. I'm going to place one light blue stain clay, I believe it is. Yep go down and to the side and what we're going to do is go down diagonal and bring it forwards one we're going to punch that one out and then go down one so essentially you're going down diagonal but forwards so you're bringing it towards you and from the front that gives it a uh, real nice effect like that of like the wire sticking out of his head and from the side it looks equally as nice it looks like the bit of the ear that's come off so yeah make sure you try and replicate that as you can final side excluding the uh, top because the top's pretty simple um, it's mainly just a hat what we're going to do is we're going to do this one layer by layer rather than doing it um, row by row so what we're going to do is one black two lime one black and then two lime what we do here is we punch this one out below and replace that with black go across one and punch this one out so second to last row we punch that one out as well Next row, what we're going to do is black, lime, lime, black, lime, and then black. Next row is black, and then lime for the rest of the row. Whoops. Next row, one, two, three, lime, one black, two lime. Next row, one, two, three, lime, one black, one lime, one black. Next row, one black. One, two, three, four, lime, one black. Next row, 
one two, one black, and then the rest of the line is lime stain clay. So that is the back of the head complete. Final thing we need to do is for the uh, tutorial is the top of the head. So what we do is we're going to fill it in solid lime stain clay um, because it makes it easier. Then we'll punch out the details rather than uh, doing it any other way. So just fill it in solid using lime stain clay. Make sure you know what side's the front, so this side's the front in this case. So what we do is on this one next to this light blue stain clay, we punch it out and replace it with the light blue stain clay. Next to that, we punch that one out and place a black wall, and then bring it forwards one and place one there. Next what we do is go on the left side and we find this second one here. We go to the side and then up one and replace that with black wall. Then what we do is we're going to add the hat. So we count two in. So one, two on the third block, and we count in one, two from the side. We create a four by four square, like so. So as you can see, it should be two in from each way. So two, 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 and then two. So yeah, it's directly centered, a four by four. Then what we do is in the middle, we build it up and make a two by two cube on top, which is the little top hat. And then the final stage of this tutorial is we need to add his left ear so in line with the hat, we place we leave one block gap, place one limestone clay, go to side one using black wool, and then go down one using limestone clay. And once you've done that, that is Phantom Freddy complete. And that's what it should look like. Let me get rid of my uh, arm quickly and I'll show you around one last time and then we'll end off this tutorial. So of course, I'm not going to go over the uh, dimensions of the body because I've gone over it several times now. But this is the front. Then we've got the right side. The left side and then the back there you go and then for the head we've got the front which is 8 by 8 with the uh, little 3d effects we got the left side which is also 8 by 8 again with the little 3d effects with the ear we got the back which is 8 by 8 the right side 8x8 eight eight, again with the little 3D effects and then the top which is again 8x8 eight eight, with the hat okay so that is it that's pretty much all I have to say thank you for watching again if you did enjoy leave a like also comment below on uh, how you thought this tutorial went because I was contemplating how to do this whether to build all the black outline first and then do the uh, lime stain clay afterwards but I thought I'd just go layer by layer in the end and hopefully you guys um, like that. I don't know how it turned out so definitely give me some feedback down below. But yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, I've been Tom and goodbye. my chest, train my mind so I forget, sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out then fill the hole, tear me apart, tear me apart, watch burn, tear me apart.